to pray. We call out the dry bones, come alive, come alive. We call out the dry bones, come alive, come alive. I run out of the ashes, let us see in our mirror. We call on the trouble, come along. Morning, welcome, welcome, welcome. I had tried to keep silent regarding this issue, and um, but um, the more I thought about it and the more... I looked at what the scriptures had to say. I realized that um, I couldn't keep silent. And I began to pray and talk to the Lord about it. Because I've seen many videos about the election process. And even Christians posting videos saying, listen, we shouldn't vote. We shouldn't get involved in it. But... I have always had a burning desire in my heart to participate in the political process, but I wanted to see exactly what the scripture said regarding it. And um, so I began asking the Lord about it, thought this, went through the scriptures and everything. And um, this is what I found out. This is what confirmed because... The Lord, let's first and foremost, let me say, God is concerned about every aspect of our lives. And as Christians, we cannot hide from the systems that are around us. And we can't look at some things and say, boy, it's so corrupt that let's all hide from it. Let's all retreat into our safe places. Um, if we look at... Um, if we look at the gospel, Mark 16, for 15 to 6, Mark 16, 15 to 16 says, And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Now, part of the part that we tend to forget is God commission to us to go into all the world. Now, what is the world? The world is, as defined by, by um, the dictionary, says a part or aspect of human life or of the natural features of the world, of the earth. Um, it is also, can be classified as the people, places, and activities to do with a particular thing. Now, the political system, despite its corruption, despite every problems that exist, is also a part of the world that we as Christians must also go into because the Lord is concerned with every life that is there. He's concerned about the life of the president. He's concerned about the life of the vice president. He's concerned about every representative in politics. And God is concerned about its impact on our lives. And if we understand the spiritual implications of the legislations that are passed in the houses of parliament, um, within, the, within the houses of representatives, then we as Christians will get involved in the process. But before we even launch into it, we have to allow the Lord to purify our hearts and our motives and to offer up ourselves to be willing to go into the system to create the change that is necessary. And if we think that God is not involved in, sorry, is not interested in the political system, then all we need to do is look in the scriptures. If we remember when the children of Israel went into captivity, God raised up Daniel and his three companions, Azariah, Mishael, and Ananiah, we, we refer to them as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego by their Babylon name. But these were righteous men who God raised up and used in an empire that 
originally worshipped false gods. And because of, the, of Daniel ministering to Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar's heart was turned to the worship of the true God. We have Ezra being raised up to also counsel the king of Babylon. And there are, we have Esther who was placed strategically in the court of the king so that her brothers and sisters, her fellow Israelites could be helped. Now we in Christendom, we have retreated into the safety of the walls of the church and we refuse to go out. We give in to the fear and the fears of what is happening, of um, the fears of getting involved in what is happening. If we learn to abide in the presence of God, we can go into any system and need not be afraid. Because when we go into the systems, it won't change us. We will change it. And God is looking for people who will sanctify themselves and go out into these systems. And we need not to simply say we are choosing between the lesser of two evils. When we are choosing between the lesser of two evils, it's because we have also allowed it to happen. We can rise up as an army and we can become a part of the process and we can cause change to happen. We must fast, we must pray. But when God gives us directive, we are to go out. And I do believe that we need to go out. The U.S. presidential election is on Tuesday, November 8th. I believe that everyone that can vote should go and vote. If people like Martin, Dr. Martin Luther King did not did um, took a stance to say, listen, whatever is happening, I'm a Baptist minister, so I am not going to be involved and I'm called to save lives. And he just simply dealt with, is stayed in that little bottle, in that corner. Then we would never have had the changes in the civil rights movement. We would have never had that enacted. We would have never have had the changes now that have allowed person of color, person such as myself, to reap the benefits of that. Every person, regardless of skin color, every Christian, regardless of skin color, regardless of denomination, I believe ought to go out and vote. We ought to, to participate in the political process. But most importantly, it is time that we start praying for God to raise up righteous men and women to sit in the seats of, of, the, of the highest office in the president. Of in the country, the office of the president. It is time for when we are praying for revival, let's pray for that to happen because every legislation that is enacted impacts the lives of every citizen within the United States. And let us establish the kingdom of God within the United States of America. So that is my take. That is my take on the that's my take on Christians participating in the electoral process. My advice to you, if you can, go out, vote, let your voice be counted, go out and vote. God bless you. Oh, she named this. <laughs> Listen. Ah. Stop streaming. Never do one for me. Oh, I have hot. Go out and vote. Go out and vote. Go out and vote and stop. I did not say this. Is, why are we hiding? Oh, me, oh, breath, 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 oh, bre
I can't see who is on. That's not a good thing. I can't see. Can't interact. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> Tempe. Whoa, 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 whoa. This does stop. I can't see who is on. Oh, Lord, have mercy. That's not a good thing.